what are the main tools available to mitigate uh, the damage potential due to natural and technological risks? Until recently, hazards, that is the physical characteristics of natural phenomena and technological threats, were the focus of study and research. This led inevitably to the development of structural mitigation measures, those aimed at reducing the frequency and the magnitude of hazards or the vulnerabilities of structures. In the last two decades or so, even technical experts have become aware of the limitations of such an approach, as shown by several recent disasters. Consolidation works, levies to protect settlements from flooding, will be always necessary, but must be complemented by other non-structural mitigation measures. Among the latter, land use and spatial planning certainly holds a key position. Recent international conferences, as well as the wider literature in disaster and risk management, have shown how planners can substantially contribute to mitigate risks. Students will be introduced to legislation that has been developed in several countries as well as at the European Union level in order to make risk prevention part of ordinary programs and plans to develop cities and regions. Uh, students will also learn what are the basic ordinary tools that planners may use in order to avoid hazardous location and to reduce the exposure and vulnerabilities of settlements and communities. But most important for civil engineers, they will understand how to tailor risk assessment procedures to the need of decision makers who must choose the location, use and density of buildings, structures and functions in cities and regions.